Welcome to The Daily. It's Tuesday, May 31st with Greg Lawless. I'm Jason Seguini. Monday, usually a day off for people on Memorial Day. It was a permanent day off for two MLS coaches. Yeah, it was a busy day. I think we were expecting to have a slow day around here at MLSsoccer.com. Instead, we get the news that two coaches had been fired. It started early in the afternoon when Tater Tortison, the head coach for Vancouver, was let go by the club. A couple of things. He leaves with a 1-5-6 and six record. Uh, this is uh, obviously not what they were looking for. And they put out a letter to the fans saying this is a result driven business they needed to do something and make a change and they also said they weren't happy with the style of play which is interesting because Taylor Tortison has been their coach now he was there for the second division as well he's the one who brought them up into MLS and he did pretty well down there yeah, and there's been some interesting fan reaction on that. We'll get into that on Extra Time Radio later, yep. that the fans thought it was much too soon, and so did maybe one Simon Borg. <laughs> Moving on to um, Chicago, Carlos De Los Cobos also let go yesterday, yep. and this is a similar situation, except that I think more people saw this coming. Yeah, they did, and obviously, Jason, it wasn't as early, because De Los Cobos has been there now for more than a year, and he didn't seem to show any progress with this club. He has a record, a track record now of bringing in several players that didn't quite work out. Obviously, this year, Diego Chavez has been wonderful for them, and he's been a revelation, I think. But you look at some of the other guys he brought in last year. Martinez is a, an example. Uman Zor and some other players. And obviously, the Neri Castillo one made a bad taste in a lot of people's mouths. So this one, I don't think anybody is that surprised from this. Frank Klopas, the technical director, takes over as head coach through the rest of the season. And we forgot to mention, actually, Tom Sohn, who was the director of soccer for Vancouver, he will take over the Whitecaps through the end of the season. All right, well, it wasn't only coaches leaving on Monday. A player comes to uh, an agreement with his team in Houston. Yeah, Koke, who was brought in uh, to be that attacking spark up top for them, he is going to be leaving by mutual agreement between the player and the club. Our very own Cristo Valencia from FootballMLS.com spoke to Koke, and he said, look, this is nothing about the club. It's not about the fact that he hasn't been playing too much. It's really a family issue. He misses his son, and he's headed home to be with his family. Well, we're not going to get into all the action from the weekend, but a couple streaks ended that we have to mention, including Portland's hot start at Geld Wen Field. Yeah, the Timbers started with 5-0 and at Geld Wen. However, they did not expect for DC United, of all teams, to come in there and get the first victory at, uh, at Portland. DC United did it in a really, really great way here, Jason. They basically played Timbers soccer. A lot of energy defensively, good on the counterattack, and most importantly, despite not having Charlie Davies, very, very good at set pieces. Yeah, they did it the Portland way, that's for sure. Another streak that ended was in Rio Tinto Stadium mm -hmm. for Salt Lake. They were undefeated in 29 MLS games. Seattle Sounders came in and beat them, though. Yeah, a two-to-one victory for the Sounders, and the real great goal in this one was Lamar Nagel gets his first professional goal. It is a bomb. It was nominated for Goal of the Week this week, so make sure you check that out on MLSsoccer.com. But for Salt Lake, maybe this takes a little bit of the pressure off of them every time they play at home that they have to get that result. All right. If you missed any other action from the weekend, you can check out the MLS Review Show, which is on MLSsoccer.com or YouTube slash MLS. Extra Time Radio will be out later today. There's plenty to talk about, including crazy scandals in FIFA, Greg. <laughs> all kinds of things. And, and CONCACAF right in the middle of all those scandals. And speaking of CONCACAF, the Gold Cup will be kicking off this weekend on Sunday. And we've got a lot of coverage this week and through the entire Gold Cup. All right. That's all we have for the Daily Today. We'll be back tomorrow.